All Pond Solutions proudly presents our best-selling EF Aquarium External Filter range. This tutorial will cover our 1000 litre per hour and 1400 litre per hour EF External Filter non-UV models. Now available at allpondsolutions.co.uk You will find supplied in the box a large capacity filter canister body a set of three filtration baskets a range of filter media including 400 grams of activated carbon we recommend this is kept in the mesh bag provided 400 grams of ceramic rings you can have these loose within your filter baskets or leave them in the mesh bag supplied please remove the outer plastic bag prior to use high grade bio balls for their oxygenating properties. A set of three fine filter foam. Two sets of transparent green hose. Inlet pipework with optional surface skimmer. Outlet pipework with an optional modular spray bar. A set of four suction cups for attaching your pipework to your aquarium and your inlet and outlet taps. To assemble the unit first connect together your inlet pipework and attach it to the green hose as shown. Assemble the outlet pipework and attach securely to the green hose. Then connect the ends of your inlet and outlet pipework to your tap adapter. If you are experiencing difficulty attaching your hose to your pipework or your adapter, it's a good tip to soak the ends in hot water for a few minutes to make it more pliable. The hose length can also be cut to size as required. Please ensure that all filter media is rinsed thoroughly prior to use. Before attaching the head to the body, fill the canister with clean water to just above the top of the filter plate. Always have a towel ready to mop up any spillages. Then firmly connect the head and the body together and fasten the clips. Once the head is securely in place, connect the inlet outlet tap adapter and push the lever down into the open position. For purposes of priming, locate your inlet and outlet pipework into your aquarium, ensuring they are fully submerged. You can move the spray bar above the water line once the unit is fully primed. Before powering on your unit, you will need to rid the system of as much air as possible. You can do this by pressing the priming button and holding for three seconds and releasing to fill the inlet pipe with water. You may need to do this a few times. Once primed, connect your unit to a power supply. Allow the external filter to run for a few moments to clear any excess air in the system. Use the priming button if necessary. Once your external filter is primed and operational, you can position your spray bar above or below the water line. Spray bars are optional, but they will help oxygenate your water and will evenly distribute your outlet water flow. If you choose to install an optional surface skimmer, you will need to enable it by extending the inlet pipework gently as shown. This product is suitable for freshwater, tropical and saltwater marine use. We will now run through some basic troubleshooting. To prepare your unit for maintenance and always prior to removing the head, shut off your taps by moving the lever to the upright position. Then turn your power off. This will allow you to gently remove the adapter and gain access to the head. If you're experiencing flow rate problems despite correct priming, 
Check your filter media trays and impeller for any build up or blockage. You may also find that shortening the distance or height between your filter and aquarium improves flow. One simple way to do this is by reducing hose length. You can access the magnetic impeller and shaft for maintenance and to check for blockages by upturning the head and removing the cap like so. Double check that all pipe work is airtight and securely connected. Ensure your inlet and outlet taps are in the open position by pushing the switch all the way down. You may discover that gently tilting the unit from side to side will help clear any air building up in the filter case. There are no strict rules concerning the placement of filter media However, we recommend placing the ceramic rings in the bottom tray, the high-grade bio balls in the middle tray, and the active carbon in the mesh bag on the top tray. We recommend devising your own maintenance and cleaning schedules to suit your aquarium needs. The ceramic rings and bio balls can be rinsed and should last indefinitely. However, you should replace the active carbon every two to three months. All genuine All Pond Solutions products are supplied with full English instructions. For a comprehensive range of spare parts, filter media and foam, visit www.allpondsolutions.co.uk. For further troubleshooting advice, please email info at allpondsolutions.co.uk. Before we finish, we would like to advise our customers of the dangers of buying cheap counterfeits of our products online. You may have seen similar concerns raised in a recent BBC Watchdog programme regarding the safety of electrical items imported, often from the Far East. The vast majority of the products we found were readily available on reputable UK online sites. The vast majority are imported illegally from China and the Far East and may not be electrically safe or CE approved. If you have obtained a cheap counterfeit pond or aquarium product with a two or three pronged plug or an adapter, chances are it will not be made to UK specifications and could void any home insurance claim in the event of an electrical fault. We have noticed that some units particularly these external filters with built-in UV bulbs, have no cut-off switch, which means that should the lid be removed with the power on, the UV bulb will stay illuminated, which is highly dangerous. Many of these products are manufactured using cheaper grade plastics, which may break easily. Remember, if it doesn't have the All Pond Solutions trademark on the box, it's probably not a genuine product. All Allpond Solutions products are CE approved and come with a warranty supplied. So always buy the genuine article. If you believe you've obtained one of these counterfeit or unsafe items, please report your concerns to your local trading standards office. If you would like to contact us for advice, please do so through our website www.allpondsolutions.co.uk